Alright guys, um, sorry this video is so late, <clears throat> I spent all of Sunday in Australia, which is Saturday in America, um, in Melbourne, doing stuff for going to a uni open day, so I couldn't really make a video then, and I know I should have done it earlier, but I'm doing it now, um, I think this will probably still get up on the Sunday, but it'll probably be pretty late, like, East Coast type stuff, um, this week's topic is parenthood. Um, I don't actually have that much to say on it, um, because I'm not a parent, nor do I plan on being in the next few years, but I definitely, I definitely want children in the future, for sure, um, as most of you will know from my other video, um, I'm pretty much solely attracted to females, um, as I said, I would never discount, you know, someone who's not cis or whatever, um, but when I think of my future, I always think of it with a girl, um, and I would love to have kids with her, um, I always haven't thought about specifics or anything like that, I'd be pretty much more than happy to adopt, I guess, if that was the road we decided to take, but I think that um, I'd be even more happy if we did something like, I guess, like sperm donation or something like that, um, with her, with her eggs, I guess, sounds so, sounds so, like, I don't know, perverse, um, but that's certainly what I'd want to do. I'm also holding out hope for in like the next 10 years for them to be some sort of like development where you could take say my genetic makeup and put it into someone else's sperm or something like that. Or maybe that makes like artificial sperm. Um, that would be awesome. That would be what I would want to do. Um, I really just, I want, it sounds selfish or whatever, but I want my own kids, I suppose, but I could never see myself having a baby, like personally, like me, like carrying a baby, I could never, I wouldn't want to do that, um, but I would definitely want to be, you know, the, the husband or whatever around my pregnant wife. And that kind of thing. That for me would be awesome. That's what I'd want. Um, I also want like four kids, so you get it around it. <laughs> Poor girl. Um, at the moment with my girlfriend, we talk about the future sometimes, but never like I really want kids with each other. And, like, that kind of thing. You know, we joke about getting married and that sort of stuff, but... I mean, we're young. We're young and she lives far away, so... It might be wishful thinking, but... I'd be really happy with her. Before we die. Oh. But yeah, that's kind of it. I don't know what else I need to say. So basically, I'd like to be a dad one day. Because I want to have kids. I want to have quite a lot of kids. Um, I wouldn't be against adopting if that was how she wanted to go about it. Um, but I would really like to have our own kids, I suppose. You know, be as, be as normal as possible. As to whether... As to whether I'd want to tell my kids that I'm trans... I suppose that I would, despite wanting to be stealth for the rest of my life, but I don't feel like I could lie to my kids for their whole lives, and I think that if they ever found out, I mean, from, I mean, my parents are always going to know, their grandparents are always going to know, their aunt, my sister is always going to know. You know, I hope that I can keep some of my friends into my 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s and that sort of thing, and They'll, they'll know. Um, you know. Strangers they meet on the street probably won't know, but 
I, I wouldn't want to take the risk of not telling my kids and then finding out from someone else. Because I think that, that would be way more of a shock. So I think I'd want to tell them, but I'd also want them to know that it's not okay for them to tell anyone else. Or that I don't want anyone else to know. Um, but I think it would be a good way of teaching them to be accepting and that sort of thing as well. I just, I just want them to see me as their dad, not as, not as anything weird, I suppose. But yeah, that's it I guess. Um, I hope you all had a good weekend. I certainly did. I fucking love Melbourne. Um, went out drinking on Friday night. That was pretty much it. Anyway, um, I'm up for my second tea shot this week, so that'll be sweet. I'll be officially on three three weeks on tea. Not that there's been any changes <laughs> or anything like that, but nice to see. Hey guys. <laughs>